What's up everyone? This is the Destroyer229 and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we defeated Gonzap, who was standing in our way. And in this episode, we're going to go up the elevator he was guarding. Since Nazcor has some sort of surprise waiting for us. Now, I did a little bit more training off screen to be prepared for this. I would definitely recommend your Pokemon be in the 50s at the, for this. As you can see, all of my Pokemon are at level 50 here. And I also have Skarmory with me now. Her no, Heracross did not open the door to its heart. But Skarmory is my fifth permanent party member. Why fifth? Well, I do plan on switching out Ampharos at a later point. Ampharos has never really been considered to me to be a permanent party member, despite the fact that it's with me for the majority of the game. Now I also went back, did some Colosseums, both for the training and items. If you have what I... the levels that I have or higher, you don't need as many items, I would probably get fewer hyper potions and more full with full restores but definitely you're gonna need a lot of pokeballs for this now for going on over and beating pyrite a fourth time you get tm31 brick break if you go back to pyrite after beating it the fourth time you'll just fight the same trainers again you'll still get money but you won't get tms for it now for beating the under for a second time, you get TM36, Sludge Bomb. A third time, you get TM30, Shadow Ball. And a fourth time, TM23, Iron Tail. Now, one final thing from my point of view as the commentator is that I've really been stressing a lot over making these videos, specifically because of the freaking desyncs that you all know I hate so much. So, I tried to look for a different recording software, as opposed to my editing software being the same thing. Instead, what I found was that I could, I found a video, and it showed me how to actually change the settings on my recording slash editing software so that it wouldn't have the the skips and jumps that you that you guys have seen throughout the course of this playthrough which I always thought is inconvenient but not not really that notable of noticing so with that I hope that you won't even see those anymore and hopefully that will mean no more desyncs so yeah, it's a shame that it's. I only found this out at the end of this LP, but, you know, what are you going to do? So now that I've talked enough, let's go up to see Nazcore. Oh wow, it does look like a Coliseum. What kept you, Wes? I worried that perhaps Gonzap had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We'll have you battle as payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see spectacular battling out of you. After all, you're here to entertain. <laughs> So we get a Colosseum-esque fight. Now what I mean by Colosseum-esque is that you have dialogue like this. You have to go through, as opposed to just a trainer's little intro thing. As well as the something Colosseum Battle 1 or whatever. The other change from Colosseums that is big and important is that 
In normal Colosseums, your Pokemon heal after every battle. Not here! You have to go through four trainers without being healed. So you have to watch yourself while going through this. So let's go ahead and use Bite on Porygon 2 and Psychic on Zangoose. Now you may be wondering, well wait, your Pokemon are in the 50s, these trainers are mid-40s, aren't you a little bit overleveled? Trust me, they get tougher. Alright, so our third Pokemon is... Miltank. And that's right, not only do you have to go through four trainers, you also have Shadow Pokemon to catch as well. So yeah, you have that to worry about too. Oh shoot. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Okay, Umbreon, Secret Power on Miltank, Psychic on Porygon 2. Alright, and... Oh! So close! So very, very close! Close! So close! But no cigar! I'm sorry, I had to bust out the entire lyric there. <laughs> okay, and... No, no paralysis. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, Umbreon, let's try Paralysis again. Espeon, you take down Porygon 2. Alright, well, that's taken care of. And XP. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! No, 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 no! Damn it. Erg. Okay, let's get Ampharos out there. Okay, well, maybe I can paralyze it. Paralysis, 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 paralysis. Yeah! Okay, so let's go with Bite. Let's go with Thundershock. Alright, fairly good hit. Let's see how well Ampharos can do. Fairly good. And more defense curl. Hmm. Umbreon. Go secret power. Ampharos, we're gonna try to catch it. Alright, let's go Miltang! Okay, okay, let's go Miltank! One, two, three, oh yeah! Nice! Alright, so, Jomas is down! And that was a lot of money. Yeah, another thing. You get your money right away after these battles, as opposed to after the entire Coliseum match. So, another minor change. Alright, so now we have to deal with... the lawn. So many puns I can make so little time! <laughs> okay, so he's gonna start things off with an Obsol and a Mighty Enna. So let's go Umbreon and Taflosion. And we have a Shadow Obsol. Alright, so Umbreon, use Secret Power on Obsol, Typhlosion, Flame Wheel on Mighty Anna. Ooh! That was a really good hit. Okay, paralyze, 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 please. Thank you very much. And somehow it's faster than Mighty Henna. <laughs> or maybe paralysis doesn't take effect until the next turn. And. 
That wasn't too bad. That worries me a little. Okay, Umbreon used Bite on Obsol, Flame Wheel on Mightyena. Alright, so one down. And his next Pokemon, Sharpedo. Alright then. Okay, and Paralysis! Okay, so Umbreon. I don't like that Sharpedo, so let's go ahead and try to take it down. Alright, that was a good hit. I don't care, Rough Skin. I've been underwater. Um. Okay, at least Obstacle still caught in Paralysis. So let's use Bite on Obstacle. Typhlosion. Use Smokescreen. I know he aimed at uh, Typhlosion, but I can still lower Obstacle's accuracy. Shoot, I should have aimed that attack at Sharpedo. Dang it! Didn't think it would be enough to faint Typhlosion. Okay, uh, Mischievous. Okay, so... Good hit. Just gotta keep on weakening it. Flinch! Okay, so... Bite on Sharpedo. Shadow Ball on Sharpedo. Torpedo is part dark type, so Sybeam would do nothing. Okay, and Crunch. Oh shoot, no! Don't faint Mischievous! Oh, Bull! Critical! What the hell? Ugh. Okay, Skarmory, get out there! At least we take down Sharpedo. So now all we gotta do is worry about catching Obsol. And Shadow Rush. Great. Ooh, that did quite a bit of damage to Skarmory there. Okay, so let's use Bite on Obsol. Skarmory, we are going to revive. Bring back Typhlosion, since it can lower accuracy. I think Espeon would be more useful for later matches, but... I want to get Obsol now. Okay, so... Now let's bring back Espeon now. Skarmory, let's try catching it. Alright, let's go Obsol! Let's go, Obsol! Let's get in the Ultra Ball. One. Urgh! Shadow Rush. Crap! I have no idea why my voice vibrated right there, but... Urgh. Okay, Typhlosion, you get out there. I'm going to need to heal Typhlosion too, because I don't think you can take a Shadow Rush, so... Umbreon, we are using your turn. The Lemonade? Yeah, Lemonade would be just fine. Save me a Hyper Potion. Typhlosion, Smokescreen. Okay, just keep lowering that accuracy. Ooh, it's a good thing that I healed it. Okay, Umbreon. Let's go ahead and heal up Typhlosion again. Typhlosion, you keep using Smokescreen. Okay, more Lord Accuracy. Swords Dance! 
shoot. Okay. That gives me a little bit of time. Umbreon. Let's go ahead and catch it. Explosion. Keep using those smoke screens. Okay, Opsil. Let's do this. Still gotta go through two more battles. Alright. One. Ugh! Come on, Opsil. Don't make this difficult. Good. Paralysis. I'll take that. Let's go timer ball. Keep lowering accuracy, Typhlosion. Okay, come on, Obsol! I have more battles to get through in this episode. One. Yeah! Come on, you're in the red and you're paralyzed. What's the deal? And more Shadow Rush. Good, it missed. You know what, this... W I've gone through test runs of this. I even tried catching them. Great Balls worked surprisingly well in those takes, so maybe they'll work here. One. Two. Three. <laughs> the Great Balls still work! <laughs> All right, and he barely gives me any money. Boo! Really? Why were you just staring at me the entire time? Oh well. Get introduced to the cipher peons now. Well, I suppose in beating us, that would be enough for a promotion. Considering we've beaten all of their admins before. Okay, so he's gonna start things off with a Houndoom and a Torkoal. And I've got Espeon back on my team. Okay, so, Espeon, let's go through this with a little less dying. And... Houndoom's a shadow Pokemon. Alright then, good to know. Okay, so use Bite on Torkoal, use Psychic on Torkoal. Boom! One shot! Alright, so her next Pokemon, Macargo. And she's gonna use Hal. And that was the reason why I didn't use a healing move before was because I figured she would do that. Okay, and ooh, that was a fairly good hit. Okay, so you secret power on Houndoom. Uh, wait, should I? Yeah, let's do that. You attack Macargo. Let's be on. All right, so now all we gotta do is deal with Houndoom. And XP, XP, XP is always good. Oh, jeez, crap. Oh! <laughs> wow, Espeon, you sure lucked out right there. Five hit points, wow. Okay, let's heal up Espeon. <laughs> And yeah, she's going to try to increase her attack a bit more. <laughs> okay, well, that was good news for me. Oh boy, and Houndoom's really taking a beating now. Ah, no paralysis. Okay, let's try Bite. Espeon will switch you out for Ampharos. At least since Houndoom's a dark type, Bite won't do all that much damage. Uh, whew. And maybe it'll paralyze itself. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Dang it. Ooh. 
Okay, aside from no paralysis. Okay, um, with fate, Ampharos with its attack got in, so let's go ahead and heal up Ampharos. And Ampharos, you use Thunder Wave. Okay. That's getting worrisome. And of course, it's always right when I use Thunder Wave. Okay, so Umbreon, we're going to use your turn to catch. And Ampharos, we're going to switch you out for Typhlosion. Okay, let's go Houndoom. Let's go Houndoom. Okay, one. No, Great Ball! You have failed me! Ah, shoot. Not good, not good. Come on, Cotton Paralysis, Cotton Paralysis! Crap. Uh. Oh! Oh, just barely! I've got one chance to catch this. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to use the glitch right here. Because I really don't want to go and try to get it again. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know what to do. Should I abuse the glitch or not? Let's not. Typhlosion. Smoke screen. Okay. Come on, Ultra Ball. You better work. It's down to like one hit point or two and it's paralyzed. Be caught, Houndoom. One. Two. Three. Yes! I didn't even have to resort to the glitch. I'm happy. Alright, so, Hound Doom's cut, and we beat Nella. So that just leaves one final battle. Walking up all slow like. I've seen you guys run. Alright, so Stawn is going to challenge us. Okay, so he's going to use a Tropius and a Cradley. And... Oh, hey, I still have Espeon with me. I thought Espeon fainted last. I guess not. And Tropius is our target shadow Pokemon. Okay, so let's use Secret Power on it. Use Psychic on Cradley. Okay, that was a pretty good hit. Special Defense down too! Alright! Okay, come on. Paralyzed Tropius. Paralyzed Tropius! Aww. And it's going to use Black. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. So Umbreon, we're gonna use Bite on whatever comes out next. Espeon, take down Cradley. <laughs> and a critical hit to boot. It's already half. It probably could have finished it off anyway. And Espeon's 51 now! Yay! His next Pokemon, Cacturn. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, Cacturn is part dark, so Espeon's not gonna be all that good right here. Ugh. Okay, so Umbreon, attack Tropius. Espeon, we're so oh, shoot. Okay, we'll switch out to Typhlosion. I'm pretty sure Typhlosion can take a hit. Come on, secret power, cause paralysis, cause paralysis! Arg! And his cat turn's gonna use faint attack. Okay, Typhlosion can take that. Only just. 
Okay, Umbreon, heal up. Typhlosion, you murder Cacturn. There you go. Back turned down. And he's down to his final two Pokemon. And Umbreon's level 51 now, too. Okay, so his final Pokemon, Vileplume. And I've got Typhlosion with me! <laughs> okay, well, that didn't do all that much. Good thing I healed. Okay, so Secret Power, Flame Wheel. How is Vileplume still in after that? What? Well, at least Tropius is paralyzed. And it's still going to fly. Arrgh. Okay, so... Umbreon... Just for kicks. Just for... R really, just for kicks. Typhlosion, you take down Vileplume. I will laugh so hard if this works. One. Two. Three. actually work! <laughs> oh my- I- I did not expect that to work! Oh my god, Great Balls, you are so awesome! <laughs> oh my god, this is almost as good as when I caught Raikou in one shot! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I'm done laughing. Okay, we beat Stun. We've gone through your Coliseum, NASCOR. We're done playing games with you. Show yourself. <laughs>